Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu of Israel has warned that the struggle against Hamas will be long and difficult. Watch our report to know what he said. The Israel-Palestine conflict rages on its fourth day with no signs of a ceasefire. Israel continues to target Hamas' key hideouts in its robust retaliation following a devastating surprise attack by Hamas on Israel, which tragically claimed over 700 lives and left 2,300 injured. In response to the ongoing crisis, Israel has mobilized an impressive 30 lakh troops on October 9th, Prime Minister Netanyahu stated unequivocally that Israel didn't initiate the conflict but is determined to bring it to a resolution. Israel is at war. We didn't want this war. It was forced upon us in the most brutal and savage way. But though Israel didn't start this war, Israel will finish it. Once the Jewish people were stateless, once the Jewish people were defenseless, no longer. Hamas will understand that by attacking us, they've made a mistake of historic proportions. We will exact a price that will be remembered by them and Israel's other enemies for decades to come. The savage attacks that Hamas perpetrated against innocent Israelis are mind-boggling. Slaughtering families in their homes, massacring hundreds of young people at an outdoor festival, kidnapping scores of women, children, and elderly, even Holocaust survivors. Hamas terrorists bound, burned, and executed children. They are savages. Hamas is ISIS. And just as the forces of civilization united to defeat ISIS, the forces of civilization must support Israel in defeating Hamas. He expressed gratitude for the unwavering support of US President Joe Biden. I want to thank President Biden for his unequivocal support. I want to thank leaders across the world who are standing with Israel today. I want to thank the people and Congress of the United States of America. In fighting Hamas, Israel is not only fighting for its own people, it is fighting for every country that stands against barbarism. Israel will win this war, and when Israel wins, the entire civilized world. Earlier, Hamas launched a barrage of rockets into southern and central Israel, resulting in several Israelis being taken hostage in Gaza. Heroic efforts to rescue these hostages have been ongoing for the past three days. 